15 mil. Okay. Magnus Norman, the Swede, who used to look after Robin Soderling. Finals. That was a pretty and routine win by Djokovic in that semifinal. You don't quite have the time to hit a passing shot. Higher career. Been helped a lot by Federer. Ooh, on top of the net. Easy miss. Also, I think the reason why you'll see no. I agree with that. On serve, early stages here, quarterfinals. the serve and the forehand for Novak you're talking back we actually sat through one of his matches in Canada and he was averaging more double faults and aces in all of the matches he was playing but also the forehand he wasn't getting any spin on the forehand he was hitting it flat and hard and he hit a lot of winners but also a lot of unenforced errors from the forehand side but now you see the spin and the control he's got on that forehand side Thank you. 
would be starred an instant classic tonight. He would love a routine win. Sunday night. Because if it's windy, it's going to favor Murray. Get active. That's killing him. Because you can't go there at the moment. That's a redirection for. Oh, that's him. Oh, made a mistake. <laughs> Much needed. Uh, good, good tennis. Being a bit more aggressive here. His turn to respond for a much needed hold. Tuesday. like Stan's made his mind up now that if he gets a forehand he's going to start unloading and try to push Novak back I think this is a good decision How about that forehand the strength in the legs and the core to torque that from way behind the core there wasn't much room up the line There's a rare net approach. 
Coach. No hesitation. No, I feel like he got a bit lucky there, actually, because he. Wow, Branko. Uh, what is it? The blast? The RPM blast. Joke is that one strings. They put the gut in the mains. Who's got that? Good variety of first serves in the game. An easy hold. And Babrika will serve for the second. Next. Okay. Should Correct. limit the mistakes. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy, he's improved that part of his game. Punched it deep and behind the breaker. Inside. That was, that was out. And that net cord off the brink, it did catch the baseline, and then Djokovic poked it just wide. Oh, got a little cute there, tried to loop it short. for everything, but no mistake. I know that that time. That's a poor game for Djokovic. That little forehand miss to start the game. So to set the tone, and Vavrinka... Beautiful pickup.
Rafa over five sets, difficult <laughs> for anybody. But well, just like at the U.S. Open, Djokovic will have to come from behind if he's going to conquer Sam Vavrika again. The Swiss, a superb set. He has Djokovic a little bit rattled right now. You just have to show that to a player, right? Well, it depends what you... Love 30 down on his serve. Doesn't that the last couple sets? Uh, I also think of him early in that second set when Stan was, you know, getting beat easy. He started to really start to come on and start yelling. To my sets, yeah. Well done. And a different guy. My concern isn't really with Murray's back, is the pick for most. <laughs> I cannot believe he got his racket on that. Shot. A little bit. Oh! <laughs> yeah, got to play. Yeah, that's more like it. Serve bad yeah. forehand, then come in. Come in. Defend the title falls in the quarters. You know what people will say. Well, he's gone two and a half sets here with that break point. You just get the feeling that he had a. And that's the way Vivica can erase it. Served. He'd done something very rare. That's two sixteen. Eat on it. Oh, what a shot!
too good. <laughs> Back to a very And there's no cockiness or overconfidence in here at all. This is that. Lovely. Oh, how quickly did he get up to that? Yes. Grab one. Oh, that landed in. On the stretch. That's a better shot there. Yeah, yeah,
ending the finish line. Yes. After the loss here and the Davis Cup loss. Serve to try to get it out wide. Master class right there. And that's the best return of serve from the second serve that he's played for the evening. That's a more typical return to just put Vavrinka yes, under pressure yeah. immediately.
Sensational serving from Nova. Oh, too good. Tough final last year with Murray in the first two seasons. Come on! rises and this man achieves a very sweet win what's the tattoo say yeah, try exactly. again fail fail better and he's no snaps. failure tonight he's <laughs> now well he hasn't been a failure for a long time no, no, and he but snaps a 14 match losing streak how about this walk a couple of huge serves there from 30 all a little bit unlucky on the 30 all point but a serve and volley down match point. I'm not sure that he played serve and volley once throughout the match. And misses a duck volley. And there's the camp. Magnus Norman, the new coach as of last spring in the great. It's over, guys. Everything's over. The losing streak against Djokovic. Let's hear Stan. from him. Last year, you played a match very much like this, and you won a lot of fans, but you didn't win the match. Tonight, you won that match. How'd you do it? Uh, <laughs> uh, last year, I, we finished really, it was really tough, but uh, this year I came back, uh, it's a new year. I was playing really good, tried to fight, it started well. I was not feeling uh, great in the beginning, but uh, I try with everything. He's a he's an amazing champion. <laughs> he never give up, and uh, I'm really, 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 really happy. We can see that with the look on your face, and it's nice to see. You you played him here last year. You lost in five sets. You played him at the U.S. Open again. You lost in five sets. Now this time, was it hard for you to believe at the end of this match that you could get over the line? Yes, especially after losing two times in five sets in Grand Slam against him. But uh, I was really focused point after point. I was uh, feeling great on the court, so I was uh, I was focused on that, you know, trying to to stay aggressive, not to give up because uh, I always fight, I always try, and 
and tonight I won, so I'm really happy. Physically, at the end of the match, it looked like you were talking, stretching quite a bit. How were how were you feeling in the, at the end? Uh, tired, <laughs> tired for sure. But uh, I was uh, cramping a little bit because uh, for sure it was a tough one. But uh, also I was really nervous, so it's never easy to deal with that. So I tried to relax a little bit, but. Uh, now I'm going to go for the ice bath for a long, long time. Your, your coach, Magnus Norman, you guys have done a lot of good work together. Was there a different plan, a different tactic, things that you learned from last year that you brought today? Uh, you know, last year was really close. I was playing my I best know. game, and uh, Novak, when he's, uh, when he's playing his, his best, is he's better than me, for sure. But uh, I was trying to focus on, on what I did last year, uh, try to be really aggressive, not to give him so much time, and uh, I did it well, so it was, uh, it was good. You're into your second consecutive semifinal at a major. You made the U.S. Open semis last year. You beat your opponent in this semifinal, Tomasz Burdick, in the U.S. Open en route. What do you need to do to be successful in a couple nights? First, to be ready physically, I <laughs> need to recover from that match tonight. But uh, we played a few times last year. I was uh, I was playing good against him, but I saw I saw his match today. I saw his match, uh, all his match uh, since the beginning. He's uh, he's in good form. He's a dangerous player, serving and uh, playing big, big from the baseline. So again, I need to play my best game. Stan, you're the man tonight. Well done. Great to see. You.